This is the inside story of the rebirth of an icon, the Ford Focus RS. From the design studio to the test track and from Arizona to the Arctic, we follow the team as they strive to revive a famous name. We are not going to put out a vehicle that doesn't deserve that RS badge. And we'll follow Ford Rally and Jim Carner superstar Ken Block as he joins the RS team. Six weeks ago in Lommel, Belgium, the RS sign-off drive did not go well. Is that it? That's it. Wow, that is horrible. Yes. It's not good. It feels a little weak. Ford's product development chief, Raj Nair, delivered a brutal verdict. Not signed off. Today, over 4,000 miles away in Michigan, USA, Raj is on his way to join the Ford performance team for a second sign-off drive. We had three major issues from the drive in Lommel that we really need to make sure resolved. The, uh, the pops and burbles from the exhaust, um, steering feel in normal mode, and then brake feel, particularly in uh, moderate to heavy braking. So we just need to make sure those, those three are fixed and there aren't any new issues. The team await his arrival at Grattan Raceway near Grand Rapids. We've had a lot of late nights. We left Lommel and we went right to work and, and uh, had some struggles along the way. The issues that we had were not easy to solve. In the last four weeks uh, or six weeks since we had that drive, I think we've been able to clear out those issues and uh, we're anticipating a full approval today. I drove the car yesterday. I'm pleased, I think we're there. And we're gonna put Raj in the car soon and see if he agrees. If we're not signed off today, then we have to say that we're actually not ready to go to production. Uh, which means a delay in job one, which means delaying the cars, getting to dealers, and you know the financial impact of all of that. It's a big day. We really need to be clean today or we're going to have some pretty serious repercussions. Raj grabs his helmet and heads out onto the circuit alone for some high-speed laps. Back in the pits, Raj summons Tyrone to deliver his verdict. Well, I think it's ready. Finally. Let's go build some cars, because uh, there's a lot of people waiting for this car. Oh yeah, the interest is massive. I was referring to me, but... <laughs> <laughs> you get so quickly used to the fact that you just have to hit the throttle and you got tractive force in all four wheels. Although to get the max out of it, if you feed in, right, and just maximize all four, it really flies. Yeah. But it's, you're right, you can also just mash it and it'll make it up for you. Right, exactly. It's gonna make a lot of bad drivers look good. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Great job. The team just needed the time to resolve the three issues. Um, and we've got the steering on normal feeling where it should be. Um, the brakes under heavy braking, good modulation, good firmness in the pedal. And you got your pops and burbles. I got my pops and burbles. Uh, the engine guys, you know, said you're burning too much fuel, but I got my pops and burbles. <laughs> For the small Ford performance team, Today marks the end of a two and a half year journey from concept to sign off. We set out on the project with very specific targets and we delivered those. And today really is the culmination of that. It's the most difficult job I've ever had, but also the most rewarding job. I've had to put people under huge amounts of pressure to deliver, much more so than normal development. But it's also the reward because you do get the results very quickly, much like in a race team. And of course, the development team was joined by the hooligan, Ken Blanc. Ken was great. He kind of came in from a different perspective, and I think that was good. It kept us pushing the boundary in a different way. We wanted to make sure that the drift mode was worthy of being a drift mode, and I think Ken was, was a critical part to making that happen. A performance team and, and the lengths that it's going to to get the performance it needs is, is probably the, the ultimate example of uh, an engineering team at its best. That's probably enough fun. <laughs> Just watching what 
we as people can do when we decide we want to do something. That's what's really cool.